Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, a Shining Pearl video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Mantike and evolve it into a Mantine. Help you guys uh, complete your national decks. I've been doing a lot of guides here on the channel. I hope you guys have been uh, appreciating them and uh, finding them useful. If you do enjoy this one specifically, be sure to leave a like so more people can see it. Subscribe for more content so you don't miss out on any future guides or videos when it comes to Nintendo and Pokemon. And uh, let's go down into the underground. That's where we're going to be doing all of this. So we're going to go into our secret base. If you don't know how to make a secret base by now, I again, I have a walkthrough through on my channel that has to do with the whole underground kind of uh, area uh, but what we're going to want to do is get a bunch of water type statues and place them down so you're going to go here to uh, statue effect and you can see that it sharply raises the appearance rate of uh, water type pokemon so the way you're going to do this is basically go to your statue list you're going to plus press a plus button you're going to go down over here to water you're going to select the water type uh search and you can see all the water type pokemon uh, statues that you have put as many down as possible it could either have like one arrow um pointing up two or three so three is going to be the best as it sharply raises the appearance so there's going to be two different pokemon we're actually going to need for this uh which is kind of funny the first one obviously is mantike so let's try to go get mantike right now i'll show you guys where to get it so you can get it in fountain spring cave riverbank uh cave spacious cave or still water cavern so for example right here you can see that i have one of these right here which is the fountain spring cave so it's usually going to be obviously swimming uh, around and whatnot now the prerequisite for this is you would have need to unlock waterfall which you should by the time of recording uh, or by the time you get to the I guess this portion of the game you should have that unlocked if you don't have that unlocked if you haven't finished the game yet then get to the point where you've at least unlocked um, the uh, waterfall ability now that said if you don't see it in the water I mean you could obviously go ahead and jump right in the surf if you can't see the entirety of the water just look around for it uh, if you don't see it spawn in and what you could do is you could leave you can come back and it respawns or refreshes all of these spawns so now you see right here all of a sudden squirtles hanging out here right not going to pick up squirtle we already did that in a different video if you haven't seen that one that's also up in the channel so i'm just going to keep leaving and coming back until i find it again if you're not having any luck in a specific uh kind of room for for example what you could do is you could go check the other rooms like i said right now we're in fountain spring we could go check riverbank or spacious or stillwater cavern we could check out the other areas if we're not having any luck in one specific kind of room or a different room right like we're in fountain spring but there's more than one fountain spring cave in the underground so we could go check out a different one and all that good stuff so i'm gonna keep looking for it and once we find one i'll show you guys okay so i finally found it i went to a different room uh the first room i went into like four or five times and i'm like well let's try a different room and i went into this room about four or five times and then boom we uh we found one right here so all you're going to want to do is basically catch it, right? You can use different balls. You can use a quick ball, which will probably catch it first try. You could try to use, um, I guess, a water uh, kind of uh, ball, net ball uh, or whatever. Uh, but you should be fine with the quick ball. Again, use whatever works best for you. Go ahead and catch it. And then we actually have to go catch another Pokemon. Oh, look, the quick ball didn't actually work. We have to go catch another Pokemon in order to uh, evolve it. So I'm going to go ahead and catch this and uh, we'll continue this. All right, so that was actually a little bit harder to catch than I uh, had anticipated. So the first, or not the first, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, catch a Remoraid. So we can find those on either Route 213, Route 222, 223, 224 or 230 and they're common so i'm just going to go here on uh, route 213 and i am going to use a max repel so i can run through here without actually getting uh having to worry about uh encountering pokemon so we're gonna go through here we're gonna go down and uh you can basically just fish using the good rod and again it's going to be common um so you know you see a bunch of fishermen here just go ahead and fish uh, would you like to surf on it? No. So what you want to do is use the actual fishing rod that is called the good fishing rod. Because there are different fishing rods. There's the old one. Uh, there's the... So there's the good one is right there. That's the one you want to use. There's the old and there is uh, the super. So you want to use the good rod in this water and go ahead and catch it. Again, it's common. You can do it in route 213, 212, 223, 224, or 230. I already have one. So once you do have a Remoraid, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your bag here. Now your bag, sorry, your Pokemon box. And uh, we're going to go to our boxes and we are going to swap out some Pokemon. So we're going to put uh, Mantike here. We're going to uh, put uh, that in the party. We're going to put Remoraid also in the party. And now what we're going to want to do is level up Mantike just once with Remoraid in the party. That's very crucial. Remoraid has to be in the party. 
All right, so I'm getting a little bit too lazy to level up Mantike uh, just the normal way. I gave it a lucky egg, and it's still taking a while because it's level 60. So I'm just going to waste a rare candy. I, I honestly don't care at this point. Uh, just one. We're going to give it one just to level it up once and uh, get this over with because I, I my recording is pretty long compared to what you guys are seeing right now. Um, so anyway, so you can see we're leveling it up, and it will evolve. And again, if Remoraid is not in your party, this won't happen. So be sure that you have Remoraid in your party in order to evolve Mantike into Mantine. That is all you have to do. Uh, again, it's a special kind of evolution, and uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. I really do hope uh, you know it helped you fill out a little bit more of your national decks. If it did, be sure to leave a like so more people can see it. Subscribe for more Nintendo and Pokemon content, and I will see you guys very soon in another one. Until then, my friends, game on, and thanks for watching.